folks, my name's Stuart, I'm with the Four Crows Bushcraft and Primitive Living Skills. Debris shellers, let's talk about them. This one here, as you can see, we've been using them on courses for the last two or three years. It's looking a bit worse for wear, uh, so it needs a bit of TLC and rethatching. But if you're like me and you're not getting any younger, uh, you know yourself when you come to gathering up the leaf litter using your the feet. The hands, it's sore on the back. So for all this, for the effort. So I've been thinking about maximum efficiency for minimum effort. So today I'd like to show you how to make a rake using the resources that nature provides. So the rake itself. So what I've done here, as you can see, is I've two, taken one, two, three, four, five sticks. One quite thick for in the middle, because you want a bit rigidity uh, within there. So what I'll do, obviously if you were in a, a survival scenario, you'd have to make, make your own cordage, but for quickness today, um, I've brought um, paracord. So, what I also wanted to say about your cord is I don't want to cut into short lengths um, as you'd have to tie them all back together to get uh, one decent sized piece of cordage so try to avoid cutting cordage whenever possible so today we'll use this one piece of cord to do the whole rake okay so what I've done is basically make a slip knot with a knot tied in the end so it's like, almost like a constrictor knot like I say, I didn't want to cut my cordage. So what I'm going to do is bind the top first, wind the paracord down, and then we'll show how we put the spoke in at the bottom of the, the rake to splay the ends. So we'll, I'll just carry on and do that now. So as you can see, I have my top part done, pulled tight. And then basically a half hitch. To lock it in. And another half hitch to finish it off. So that's our top part done. So taking the cord down, I'll make another half hitch. Up and through and pull tight. So we're now got our sticks bundled together, all with one piece of paracord. Okay then, so what I've done so far is using one piece of cordage, bound the sticks at the top, come down with the length, bound it in the middle using half hitches, straight down to the bottom. Um, what I've then done is taken five pegs which act as spreaders for the sticks which helps when it comes to tying in your spreader bar at the bottom. Basically all I've done with the cordage is wrap and tie off with half hitches at the end. So we still have when I come to take this down after I've finished using it I can take it all back down and I still have one length of cordage, not loads of small pieces of cordage. Okay then, so this is basically the rake made up. Um, let's see the, if the proof is in the pudding, basically. Let's take it off, aha, one rake. Let's see how efficient it is. So, oh, there we go. Look! There we have it. Four or five rakes over and look at the pile we have already. None of the... None of the... Using the old foot. 
10-15 minutes to make a rake. We can then lift and onto the shelter. Uh, so you can see my shelter is now ready for use. 10 minutes using the rake and I've now got a decent thatch on my shelter. So thank you for watching. Uh, do do um, join us again for any future videos and uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave you now because uh, I've had this kettle on for quite a while now and I am in need of a nice warming brew. So take care guys. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you.